What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies Mike and Jesse. Uh, how's it go? What's up, guys? We're, we're we did it. We're here. The season seven finale of The Walking Dead. This is episode sixteen, the first day of the rest of your life. This is our review of this episode. So let's just get into okay. it because uh, we need to. So, Mike, go ahead. What do you cool. got? Let's, let me let me fix my notepad here. All right, so for the review, I am going to go for the story aspect here. Um, I'm giving it a four right off the bat. I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed the Sasha moments. I also um, finally, we finally got a taste of a little bit of a scared shit Negan, which um, I great. enjoyed yeah. quite a bit. You know, the, the, the whole season we were culminating to this big, big moment. And in the end, it was fucking kick-ass. It paid off for me. I enjoyed it, thousand uh, percent. Visuals four. I gave it a four for visuals. Um, I wrote down in my notes: Shiva, 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 Shiva. I think we all spoke about this during a live reaction where all the money went for that uh, for, for the deer that <laughs> yeah. we got. That well, was that eight or nine times you said Shiva there? Uh, that was. I wrote it down. So that was oh. one, two, three, four, five. That's about seven or eight Shivas. Um, <laughs> As far as we, Shiva, yeah, we didn't um, get too many. I mean, there were really in no Walker kind of uh, situations except for the Sasha, um, and and she did have some good done. makeup effects though, and yeah. some uh, costumes were really well done. Yeah. yeah, well, that's I mean that's a given. But yeah, Sasha I th- thought looked awesome as a, as a as a Walker too. So visuals, I'm giving it a four. Um, the characters. I wrote a f- couple of things down, and obviously I'll get into it, uh, you know, with you guys in the discussion. But um, I wrote down uh, there was some great interactions. I love the interaction between Rick and Negan. Obviously, we all know, what, you know, that situation. How Rick is like, doesn't matter. You can take my fucking hands. You can do whatever you want. You know, I'm gonna kill you. This is how it is. Um, Morgan and Carol back on track. I enjoyed that. Um, you guys know how I can't fucking stand how they go back and forth. Uh, we got into that a little bit. Um, the flashback scenes, I thought, uh, were, were done well. I thought Sasha did a good job for her finale on the show. And um, there was one little part when 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 uh, the Hilltop and, and the Kingdom, you know, came on and raid, start, you know, did their raid uh, to help out Alexandria. When Ezekiel was just like, Alexandria will not fall today! You know, very, mm-hmm. uh, you know, medieval-ish. You know, so I Kingly. thought there was... Yeah, there was there was a lot of good, um, uh, you know, a lot of action in this, and the acting was was spot on, definitely between Rick and and Negan. Um, the music uh, for this, I put, uh, I think we all kind of agreed that the, the 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 music that they put on when there was a lot of the fighting going on, when the battle ensued there, and and just even before that, with the build up, when we thought that um, uh, Negan was going to take Carl out. You know, yeah. they, they, they chose appropriate music for, for the intensity, for the moment. Um, and there was one cool little sound effect part because we always kind of do the music sound sound effect kind of a thing together. Um, when Shiva was just gnawing on that savior and, yeah. you know, yeah. they, there was a lot of cool. I mean, the gunfire sounds, obviously. Um, so overall, I was, uh, you know, it was a total comeback episode for the season. Um, and overall, it is a four for... Uh, the finale for season seven for me what about you chris what do you think uh yeah man um no i mean good stuff i uh, my visuals i'm I'm gonna give a 4.5 because i'm sorry what about the story story rating sorry i'm reading my shit wrong here story rating i gave it a 4.5 uh it had i think it had some great suspense i think it had some good twists I, I enjoyed the one-liners and I enjoyed the speeches of motivation, um, uh, but then I also thought I also thought some of I, the reason I didn't get a perfect five is because I thought some of the character motivations were a bit off, a little bit were skewed. You know, like I think they may, maybe just did they they gave someone something to do or say just because, just to push things. Yeah. I think some characters might have been a little unutilized, like uh, Dwight. You know, um, but yeah, so. I, but overall, it was it was great. It it completely redeemed itself. Like the, it, that that episode redeemed the season for me. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So I gave it a four point five. Um. I'm also gonna give. Uh, I said it before. Visuals four point five. Also. 
And the reason for that is you got Shiva, really good looking Shiva stuff. You yeah. had uh, some of those guns were just dope ass looking guns. They were just amazing. Yeah. The shots they had, cinematography was awesome. Um, you know, the gunplay was fun. It was cool. I know we mentioned off camera how, you know, we going back and looking, it's, it's a lot like G.I. Joe. They're just basically, sh sometimes they're just shooting just to shoot, you know? Yeah. But some of the stuff was just really good when, when fucking uh, Carl double taps that guy to start off the, the gunfight, yeah. you know? Like, just some really with no, good with stuff. With no resistance. Yeah, yeah. I loved, I loved, bang. exactly, yeah. I loved the, the joke that they had in there with the truck. You know what I mean? Trust the move. You know, like I thought yeah. that was fun. So there's a lot of cool stuff in there. So I gave it a 4.5. We could talk more about that uh, later on. So uh, characters, I'm going to give also a 4.5 because I, everyone act, again, everyone acts a mate. Like everyone did their did their part. Everyone played their part really, really, really well. Again, those interactions between, like you said, Mike, you said Rick and and Negan, amazing. You know what I mean? Um, even the even the awkwardness between um, what's her name again, Ju Judas, Ju what's her name, Jadis. 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 Uh, well, she turned out to be Judas in this episode, didn't she? So yeah, yeah. I was right when I said that. Um, but the interaction, that awkward interaction when she says she's gonna she's gonna bed him, you know, like it was just yeah. like you know, like a lot of oh. cool stuff, really good stuff. Again, and Negan getting mad, like we've never seen him get that mad. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he was got like a freaking tiger. <laughs> yeah, and it, yeah, the lines were just great. Like it was just really yeah. good. Four point five. Yeah. You know, um, it, it's hard to give something like that a five. You know, I mean. Five's got to knock everything out of the park. Saying it all the time, yeah. You know, for, and look, we're not just going to give fives willy-nilly because we thought it was a really good episode. Like, it is a really good episode. It's It was probably the best episode of the season, okay, uh -huh. minus the first episode. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, so I digress. Uh, yeah, so those are my reasons for that. And um, music, I'm going to give a 4.5 because that end music when – when they were fighting was just i it was off the hook i loved it. it 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 was it was you know it was upbeat for me it it you know it it just worked so well and everything yeah. else did too not only that the sound effects and you know even though they were shooting at nothing it was some sick ass gun sounds coming from those sick ass guns you know what i mean mm -hmm. uh, i've made a comment about that in the in the live react i was like where are they getting all these fucking awesome guns you know that so, gun that Daryl had was fucking insane. Yeah, right. That's what I'm yeah. saying. The shit was dope. I was like, "What the fuck is that shit?" It was fucking amazing. Yeah. So he anyway, picked it off of a savior. So overall, obviously, is going to end up being uh, a four point five, and um, yeah, so four four point five, uh, pretty pretty fucking good, you know. Highest rating that you know. I, I don't think we've have, we rated one other episode four point five. I think. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Four, trust me, five, trust five, me, man. Five. I edit these damn things. Yeah, we we. Yeah. <laughs> it's a full All right, five. so then. Yeah. All right, so I guess it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, story rating, four point five. Really well done. The flashbacks and the story they melded together really well. Um, the ending was nice, somber, and it was a nice contrast to what started off as a hectic season. Yeah, hell yeah. And the reason I got a four point five and not a five: stormtrooper shooting. Yeah. Well, when they was on and yeah. Ethan unscathed like Mike said yeah. uh, visuals five mainly because everything just was phenomenal even though it wasn't perfect it was still great and I I'm talking about like Michonne's eye after being in that fight um, Shiva when she's walking with Ezekiel and them it, just, it looks good yeah, hell yeah. and the costumes Negan's costume from the comics he doesn't always wear his, you know, traditional leather jacket with a red shirt the and red scarf, scarf and all that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's there. It looks good. It's really well done. And acting. Acting got a five. Uh, wow. All right. Abraham. Abraham comes back from the dead in flashbacks. Yeah, true. And he delivers just these perfect lines. These lines that, you know, stuff's going to go bad. But the guy's trying his best, even from the dead, to soothe, like, Sasha. Yeah. That's good, um, yeah. I, I couldn't take my eyes off the screen during the whole thing. It was like, I didn't want to, because yeah, the acting yeah. was so well. Yeah. Music. And this this was so close to being a perfect run. 
but the the story screwed it up. Music gets a five. Okay. But that's just because it's music and sounds. If it was just music alone, I'd probably give it a four point five. But you liked all the, the sounds music and was yeah. appropriate throughout the whole episode. You start off with a somber, you know, mellow tone when they're talking with Dwight, and then it, it just it ramps up when it needs to ramp up and it ramps yeah. down. But that's just right. not it. You have the gunfire sounds when, you know, Carl and Rick are there in the middle of the Saviors and the Garbage Pail Kids, mm-hmm. and everything's quiet. In the background, you just hear gunfire going on. It's perfect. Yeah, we mentioned yeah. that, too. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, and so my overall, it's not a 5. It's a 4.5, but yeah. it's close to perfect for me, at least. Yeah. yeah. And, right, and I believe relatively... that's our group. Uh. Uh, does that not put our group at a 4.5 there? It's 4.5, yeah. Yeah. Bing, 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 highest rating. Yeah. Yeah, so that's our second episode, 4.5, uh, for yeah. this season. You know, not bad. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I think it's cool that we're doing these things because if we if we look back at all of the, you know, you know, all the ratings we said, I think for us anyway, we get a good idea of what, how the season went for us, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and it's pretty yeah. cool. It's pretty cool because I go yeah. back, considering I edit these ones, right? So I go back yeah. and I look at all of those scores, all these overalls, and I'm like, oh shit, this is kind of cool. Like you could see for us where it where it did, mm-hmm. you know, it did like a sine wave, you know, it like. Yeah. So it's it's very very interesting, very cool. Um, all right, all guys. Right, well, so there you good. have it. There is a review for the finale, season seven of Walking Dead. Um, obviously, let us know what you guys thought because that's what we love to hear. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's over for the season, but we got some other good stuff coming. Uh, again, we, I think we just want to thank you for embracing this particular, you know, we branched out and did a separate video for this, and I think you guys are, yeah. have really taken a liking to it, um, and we really appreciate that, so we'll continue doing it. Uh, we may not do it for every show that we do because we will be adding shows to our channel, but so we may not do it for every show unless you guys really want it or it works out that, it, you know, we do should do one, but... Again, just want to put that out there, right, guys? Just, you know. Yeah, uh, absolutely. You know, this is one of our main shows, and, you know, some of the other shows may not end up being a main show. Anyway, I'll, I'll digress yet again. Uh, so that's it, guys. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around for us for the season, and um, we just really appreciate all the support. Uh, if you guys want to get to us um, on socials, it's at Third Person Pod. If, you want to, if you're listening to us on iTunes, thank you very much. If you're watching us on the tube, thank you very much. Um, and as always for the last for the final review on The Walking Dead uh, don't forget get over to comicblitz.com where you can get yourself um, un- a subscription of unlimited comics for uh, only $3 for the first three months that's $1 a month for the first three months it's yeah. unlimited comics um, and then what you choose to do after that is on you but use the promo code third person pod and uh, you can get that deal so it's really awesome so it's going to do it for us here Walking Dead season finale season 7 finale review we're done so, if you haven't watched the live reaction or the discussion, go check those out so we can round out this whole thing for the season finale. So, once again, guys, thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.